always my killer When we need him the most I would like to be toast In my own little thriller Come and kill me With a fork and a spoon Come and kill me While I'm pooping in the loo Come and kill me Walking alone Gone and finally put to rest. Come and kill me with a hammer and some tape. Come and kill me, but hold off on the rape. Come and kill me. <laughs> and we start the movie with a kill. Was that a lie, Maury? The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! That's a lie! I'm not f***ing cheating on you! I knew that was a lie! Correct, Maury. In fact, this was a musical rehearsal. The main actress twists her ankle while the sponsor is happy. The director is not. You call that erotic? You call that erotic? This is erotic. Hungry? Alicia, the one with the ankle, takes her friend and they sneak out from the theater to visit the closest hospital. And where do they go? To a nut house. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, you imbecile! And who is there in that loony bin? Of course, a serial killer. And not a normal one either. But an actor that killed his co-stars. That's no good. Correct, Sonic. Alicia gets out first, while the other one tries for her to park the car before getting out. But she is not alone. She forgot something in the car, so she decides to go back. But she gets. Pow, right in the kitchen. Alicia goes back to the car and finds her friend undisposed. And the police get there fast, but don't find anyone. So they leave a patrol car behind, and the director decides that the show must go on. Brad goes looking for his costume and has troubles finding it. And that's mostly because someone already took it. It begins! <laughs> the rehearsal starts and the killer disguises Brad in a costume just waltzes in. And the producer has an acting lesson to give him. Kill her! Kill her! Okay! So he does exactly that. And he just leaves. My work here is done. Fantastic! Now do it again. And the door? Main door's locked, Peter. Give me the key. Where's the key? I gave it to Corinne. Oh. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the key! Where's the key, for God's sake? Where's the key? <laughs> <laughs> and the phone line is, of course, cut. Obviously. It suddenly goes dark, so everyone except the sponsor runs to find the flashlights. He needs his money with him. It doesn't go well for him though. The rest decides to split up, with the two guys trying to find a master key in the office and the rest waiting in the makeup room. The killer doesn't wait long enough. He punches through the wall, grabs the guy, and screws him over real good. Is it me? Or am I a bit unlucky with the drills in the movies lately. Huh? Come on. The other guys ran back, but it's sadly too late. No! The gang has enough, gathers some weapons and goes on the offensive. And we get ready for a showdown. 
The gang corners the killer in the attic. And... Oh, Jesus Christ. Guess again. Get a real surprise when unmasking her. Brad. Brad? It's Brad. Brad? Ah, don't, don't ask me. I never fucking cared. Yes, the killer is still alive and he grabs the blonde. The others try to get her out. They manage, but only halfway. Hey, I know you'll be more happy with the other half, but just be happy with what you get, okay? Her boyfriend gets a little pissy for some reason and jumps off to the killer. And I might not be the best judge, but I don't think he chose correctly. So what do you think, Ghost from Indy? He chose... poorly. They try the door again, but the killer is right behind them. The director throws the girls at him, but the destruction doesn't work very well. And in the end... Then there was only Alicia. There will be only one! Final girl. She goes and finds a small office and in there... She finds some keys. And... A goddamn gun. Cause why the fuck wouldn't there be a gun in a theater? I keep forgetting where they film these movies. She tries the keys she found in the main door but none of them fit. Suddenly the killer appears and starts decorating the scene. And finally finished, he sits down to take a rest. Then she sees it! The key! It's right there! Precious! I'll get you next time, gadget! She crawls under the stage and tries to wiggle the key out. She finally manages to get it out, but it does not get unnoticed by the killer. He gets his hands on her. And she tries to fire her gun, but that doesn't work, so she stabs him. Damn! She tries going for the door again, but the killer is right behind her. And the chase continues. They end up on the cutwalks, and while cornered, Alicia uses the killer's only weakness, the fire extinguisher. The killer falls and dies. Right. <laughs> like it's my first horror movie, right? She goes down again to exit the building and the obvious happens, but his second weakness is fire. And he dies. And she makes her escape. But... She comes back the next day to find something she lost a watch. And she gets the caretaker to let her in, but there's something wrong. The killer was not among the bodies and still waiting for her. Though. No. That is taken care of quite swiftly again. And ladies and gentlemen, that was Stage Fright from 1987. A fun flick. A little slow in the beginning and it had its weird moments, but the mask was amazing. Uh, it actually was quite a freaky. And the kills were good. Uh, and the uh, nudity? Eh. Not so much. Not enough to actually show, so... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, give it a like, a uh, sub if you lit, and leave a comment! See you guys next time!